To balance this equation, aluminum plus copper 2 sulfate yields copper plus aluminum sulfate. Let's add up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have one aluminum atom, and then we have one copper atom on the reactant side. What I'd like to do is this SO4, since I have an SO4 here, and then I have SO4 here, I'm going to treat that as one item. So SO4, and I have one of those right here. Over on the reactants, aluminum, there are two. And copper, there's one. And then for that SO4, this three here applies to everything in the parentheses. So we have three SO4s. I'll first try to balance out the SO4s. I have three here and one here. So I could put a three in front of the copper two sulfate. That would give me one times three, three of those SO4s, that sulfate group. So that would be balanced, but I need to update the copper. So the one times the three, that gives me three copper atoms. But I'm almost done now because I have one copper here. I'll just put a three in front of the copper. One times three, that equals three. Two aluminums and then one. So I can just put a two here in front of the aluminum. One times two and that equals two. So now the coefficients on each side, they're all balanced out and we're obeying the law of conservation of mass and we're done with this equation. The trick here, if you have a SO4 here and then here, you can treat those as just one item. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al plus CuSO4 yields Cu plus Al2SO4-3. Thanks for watching.